Well, Hellfire, it is Rock Riff, and we're back with another Metalhead Envy, and I am doing my best to go through comments and see all the other bands y'all have mentioned. I know I've been doing a lot of Love Bites and a lot of Nightwish, which uh, I will continue to check out more tracks from them. I'm trying to uh, find some of the other ones y'all have mentioned within uh, all the comments of the others. And I saw Asterism. I'm hoping I'm saying that name right. Asterism. <laughs> and somebody mentioned that they were uh, an instrumental band, which I'm excited to see because I play in an instrumental prog metal band. And so now I want to see uh, another instrumental band that people like besides Animals as Leaders and like Pliny and all that. So I am very excited and curious to see this. But let's dive on in. <laughs> First thing I gotta say is, dude, you're playing a fucking surfboard. <laughs> I, I am really, really looking forward to seeing what this dude is about to do. Because it's like the bass player for Archspire is probably my favorite bass player to watch right now, and I don't think he plays uh, seven string bass. That's pretty sick, man. And that wood grain makes me think of a. Uh, like uh, the Matrix, because from this angle, it looks kind of green. That was sick. That was a nice little drop. And then your stage pres presence is really cool. Maybe I, now you want me. Now I want to get me a box built that I can stand up on anytime I do uh, the lead work in a section. Two minutes, 38 seconds in. One thing I will complain about, I wish, uh, is there a better live version of this where the audio is a little more cohesive? Just the, uh, I mean, this, this really sounds like a damn good cell phone video recording is what this sounds like to me. And then also, is are they more of a jam band? 
like so far I mean it's, it's more jamish than like uh I mean it's instrumental of course but it's very jamish compared to animals and Pliny and all that Fucking hey, girl, you shred. That was fucking. That was really fucking sick right there. That was a shred and a half right there. That was some really fast sweeping. Now I really am envious of your uh, picking hand. I wish I could sweep like that. That was cool. I was hoping to see a bit more of a drum solo. And then, like, she shreds. I don't know what her name is. I can't remember what y'all. What, what was it? It was. Okay. Hal Ka. I hope I'm saying her name right. Hal Ka. She can fucking shred. She definitely works the crowd well. Uh, I'm curious to see what the seven-string bass player does. Like maybe if we could get some close-ups on him and see what all could happen. That's part of my reason why I'm sitting here saying I I want to listen to a better uh, recording of this, just so I could get the more cohesive sound and see how well all three of them actually mesh together. In this live performance, I'm really getting mostly her. I'm assuming who videoed this is like a super big fan of her at, or at the show. Yeah, here we go. Ask and you shall receive.
fire, girl. God damn. <laughs> you fucking shred. Fuck. Like, that was one a hell of a jam song. I'd have to say that's probably like one of the best jam songs I've heard in a fucking long time. Oh, man. That's like up there with like, uh, fucking Freebird. Jamming wise, that was pretty good. That was really cool. I am definitely more curious into checking out uh, Asterism. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, I'd like to hear an actual recording or a music video of them and see what, hear the difference between their live and what they got going on. Simply because in this video, I think. The bass and the drums really didn't get the audio shine that they deserved. And her guitar was fucking slick. And it was definitely, it was cool to watch her shred out. But I want to hear how, how the, all three of them sound together a bit more cohesive. And uh, that was slick. So thank you all for the suggestion of this. Once again, it's another band that I, I think is actually like really damn good. And I'm glad an instrumental act like this is getting attention i mean i like i said at the beginning of the video i play an instrumental band myself and like we're always i don't know it's definitely a niche it's definitely more you got to be a musician fan you basically i always i always crack the joke to everybody i i'm i write music for musicians and so uh this was very intriguing Cool seven string bass, ESP, and uh, yeah. Please leave uh, some more suggestions for me to check out. Uh, Asterism was cool. And uh, until I see y'all in the next one, stay positive, stay rocking, and I'm out.